good evening everybody in india good morning everybody in the us and if you're in other continents welcome uh, my name is mitch weisberg i'm here uh i guess hosting uh Ed chat interactive the way i normally do and today we have a, an exciting session with uh, shalini chauhan who um actually comes to teaching you, you started with a master's of engineering right or masters of math what was your master's in shalini economics economics masters in economics and yeah. um and then and then be, became a teacher so that's that's pretty fascinating and uh she's going to be talking about teaching the way children learn um let me just share my screen uh for one second to just uh he, he, let me um Okay, so you should see my screen that says teaching the way children learn. Uh, that's what we're going to be having today on EdChat Interactive. And um, there's one more session left in January after today, and that will be on January 27th. And in that session, we're going to be talking about app smashing with Flipgrid and 3D Bear. And there's a ton of archives. We had a great session yesterday. Um, that was on uh, two tools to motivate students with Deep T Chopra. That will be on the archives soon. And you can always go to EdChat Interactive and see all the archives on a variety of topics. So uh, we've been running these for about five years. So there's, there's, there's a lot of archives to go through and a lot of great sessions. So I'm going to now come to the first slide of Shalini and uh, well, Shalini, welcome. Uh, thank you for coming on EdShed Interactive on a Saturday evening. And, um, you know, I'm going to hand the slide. I guess I'll advance the slides and you'll just tell me when to advance. So thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Uh, hello, everyone. And I would like to thank Mr. Mitch for this lovely introduction and providing me this opportunity to put across my learning to my fellow educators. Friends, if a child can't learn the way we teach, maybe we should teach the way they learn. I have always striven to find novel techniques to facilitate robust and pragmatic um, uh, uh, education of my students. To the world, uh, we may be teachers, but to our students, we are heroes. And as their heroes, it should be our passion to provide them quality education. I have found 3D Bear app instrumental in making learning fun for students by employing 21, 21st century skills. Let's explore 3D Bear, an innovative learning application together and make learning fun for our kids. Next slide, please. Teachers will be acquainted with the features of this app, how and why to use it in the classrooms, how to create their uh, classrooms, how to invite students or to engage them in activity-based learning. And you will also have hands-on experience during the session. So get ready with your guest. Next slide, please. So first of all, uh, let's talk about its features. Uh, next slide, please. Is so first feature is, uh, um, can you please uh, <coughs> most engaging classroom experience using AI? lesson and challenges. You can search for lesson plans in app and browser-based teacher dashboard. We will show you during the session. And I request uh, sir to please paste the link of teacher's dashboard in the chat window if it is possible. Then classroom management, your student's work can be presented from teacher dashboard on browser. The AR screen can be recorded for engaging stories. You can import your uh, own 3D model or search for Sketchfab. There are 3D model collection curated for educational use. You can also share uh, pictures and videos on social media channels. 
So let's have some hands-on experience. I would request Mr. Mitch to share his screen and let's take all of them to uh, 3D Bear app, where we are going to show you how it works and how can you make your classroom engaging. Okay, so in order to do that, I just need a second to... <laughs> no, no problem. Yeah. And thank you so much for giving me this help because okay so this always takes a second for me to so first we will talk about yes yep so first when I, you see I... the screen when you uh, log in to the And it'll be there in just a minute. I have to move it over. And now share the screen. Okay, so you all should be seeing my cell phone. Um, and I'll go into, you see 3D Bear app here on my screen on the top left. Um, that's, a, that's a bear paw, but some people think of it as a rocket engine. So that's the that's 3D Bear, and then uh, let me go to the home screen because I was doing something else differently. And okay, go ahead. Tell me what to do. Yeah. So when you click on home screen, you will be finding some scenes or some um, um, pictures which are created by students or the teachers around the world. And you can also create your own pictures, and they will be visible on this home screen. The next is search. When we click on search, we will find, it will take, uh, take us to lessons and the challenges. Lesson plans made by other educators. And you can use uh, this, these lesson plans for your classroom or you can edit it according to your convenience also. I will be sharing my lesson plan at the end of this session and where you will find how we can uh, relate 3D, uh, 3D shapes to our real life. So this is a sample for one lesson plan. These are well uh, planned lesson plans and uh, the, you, I, I would suggest you are not supposed to do any changes because they are well planned and you can go with the lesson plans given on the app. The next is when you click on, uh, we will come to plus button after, uh, first we will click, okay. Uh, Mr. Witch, please, can you please um, click on plus button, this green, green one. Now you will be learning how to create a scene or uh, how to create a scene and how to record that scene. First, when you click on this plus button, you will find you have to scan a space where you can add some uh, pictures or some, um, uh, some icons from there. You will be, uh, you will be finding some um, these tabs on your screen, uh, like first is uh, alphabet, then shapes, then um, animals or birds, or sh uh, then again, uh, you can find uh, some trees or some uh, plants or um, some um, these uh, buildings, some sports, some furniture, so you can create any scene. So, uh, Mr. Witch, can we create one scene for our uh, educators so that they can uh, learn how to create a scene for their classroom? Sure. Uh, do you want maybe yeah. a dinosaur? So you start guest Pardon? To our classroom. Okay. So I'm going to start with a dinosaur here. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> those are my. Those are about my favorite. A lot of kids like them. So here's yes. here's the dinosaur. So in science chapters, you can teach the students the adaptable uh, this adaptability of different kind of animals or birds, and you can uh, make fun or out of these shapes with the uh, with the kids of uh, you know pre primary wing. You can teach them alphabets and numbers with the help of this 3D bear. So see how uh, Mr. Witch is creating a scene. And you can, when you um, click on rotate, you can rotate the picture, the, the figure, according to your interest, where you want to put it. 
Oh, also, sorry. I, I went I, I went ahead. I just um No, no problem. So you can give them the names also. You can um, record the screen after when you uh, when you click on the center button and press it for a second, then the scene will get recorded. And it is it is your choice how long you would you like to record the scene. So this so this so here what I've done name. is I have a dinosaur yeah. and a pig which probably would not have existed at the same time, as we all know. But if they had, maybe the dinosaur would eat the pig. And I've labeled the pig. Um, and I could label the dinosaur. And I could add to the scene because you may have, let's say, a lesson where you want to say, come up with two animals that didn't exist together and do a scene that would explain what would happen with those animals. So here on my desk, I put these two animals. I could. If I wanted to, I could add to the scene. I could add some uh, some plants if I wanted to. Like if I wanted to add some grass, uh, let me just do this grass. And of course, um, you can create a jungle scene as well with the help of plants and trees. Uh, it oh. depends on you which which type of scene you want to create. Like I have done with my kids. I have created one playground for them. And then we created one classroom, we created one castle. So my, my students have recorded all these videos and I will going to show you uh, yep. after this um, presentation. Okay, so here's my scene. You will be, uh, you will be having any uh, all the ideas about how to do Okay, and actually yes. uh, I'm gonna be doing so two now, things at once because there's uh -huh. one more person I have to let in here. So. As Shalini says, if I wanted to now take a picture of this, I could, you know, right now this is too big for my camera. So if I tried to take a picture of a little bit, I wouldn't get everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to group everything together like this. Then I'm going to shrink it so that it can fit inside my camera. Um, and then I'm going to ungroup it. And maybe I want to make the um, dinosaur a little bit bigger. Okay, um, so I'll make that a little bit bigger there, or and move it move it over here a little bit more. You can squeeze the uh, picture, or you. Yep, and so you now if I want to take as well, according I, to your own interest. If I want to take a picture of it, I just press this round circle, and that takes a picture of it. Or if I want to make a video, I can record my voice, and I can say. So now I'm making a video and you see that, that that red thing in the middle is expanding and it's picking up my voice so I could describe the picture that I took and then I could send it to my teacher if I were a student. And there it is, it goes right to the camera roll and then the teacher can take a look at it. So I'm gonna come out of here for a second and stop sharing this screen. And then, um, I'll go back to uh, Shalini's slide presentation. And now let me share. And uh, we, if we go, to, if you go to the Sketchfab search, the, you can search for Oh, NASA. yes. Your kids okay. Can create uh, incredible scenes out of there. Yes. Uh, could you please show that? Sure. Then I have to you get. You can have your kids create a slides about a space mission all, as well. Okay, so I have to get back back into um, share mode. So give me, a, this is going to take a minute again. I'm sorry. This was my suggestion too, and then I messed no, it no up. Problem. You cannot create, uh, you cannot crop the background. Yes. Uh, someone has asked in chat window, um, we cannot crop the background. We have to uh, set our background according to our own choice. If we want to create a classroom scene accordingly, we have to take the background. If we want to create a jungle scene, we can create it in our park or in our uh, ground. We can move out of our house. Anywhere you can use this app. This is really a wonderful app and um, most engaging in nowadays. Remote During remote learning, you can assign homework to record their uh, assignments and they can upload it. Uh, or they can share the link with you or they can share the videos with you. You can upload it on 
YouTube channel, wherever you uh, feel like. So again, uh, we are back and now we are going to show you Sketchfab, wonderful feature of 3D app, 3D Bear app. Okay, so um, one of the things that, that's going to be happening in February is that the NASA, which is the US um, space organization, is going to be landing a mission on Mars. So it's probably a good time in January and February just to get kids interested in what happens outside of Earth. So we have this where it says search here. It's actually going out on a repository called Sketchfab and looking for, um, let me just admit this person. Um, and it's gonna be looking for all the, the different objects on Sketchfab. So you can see some of the things that I've asked for in the past. I've, I've done a, va a vampire, I've done a bat, I've done vault vampire, other vampires, I've done ostriches. But in this case, what I want to do is I wanna search for NASA, N-A-S-A, because NASA has some incredible things on Sketchfab. And of course, because we're doing a demo now, I did it this morning and it worked perfectly. And of course, now I'm doing it on a demo and it's not working. So let me let me just try one other thing to come back here. Um, I just caught the, um, the 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 issues whenever we do a demo, right? Uh, let's see if I'm going to come back here. Let me try NASA again. Okay, here. So kids can place any of these items. So here's here's the moon. Here's a NASA bike. So I'm going to come down and there's a whole bunch, you know, there's the planets. So you could ask the kids to create a story in, let's say, three or four different slides about a space mission. And they can pull any of these items and do, you know, two or three different scenes and then pull them together into a story. But let's, um, I'm just going to choose this scene from Grand, Grand Canyon right here. Let's see if that's, uh, it's, it's a big one. So it's taking, so it's, it's going to load in and then, and then let me just, uh, the kids can create their own stories with the help of these pictures. It can be in a uh, number of slides or you can use all the features or the pictures in one slide as well. Okay. So, so here is, um, here's a terrain, which we can see here. And now what I can do is I can go back to NASA and I can, and I can put this NASA bike right here. Um, onto the terrain and they can get, they can they can tell a story about this this NASA I can come closer into it I can come further out um, I could change the color um, if I wanted to let's say make it the size color can I could change, change the, the, the size the color I can turn it around um, let me just uh, I can turn it around so that it's facing this direction. I'm going to actually turn it back to white because I think that that might be better. And then when they're done with their scene, um, they can describe it and say, here's a bike from NASA visiting the moon. And then I got on my bike and this is what I did. And then they could go on to the next picture or the next video. Um, and, uh, and, they, and then they can incorporate that onto um, you know, on, onto their scene. So I think this NASA collection on Sketchfab, which you get right here in this search area, is is really rich for providing um, you with let you know ideas for lessons where the kids really are creating. I think you know that that they'll be really excited about them. Okay, so let me yeah, come out of here. You. I've used them with kids myself. So let's uh, come back to our presentation. Okay, and then the, I see a question, can we use an image as a background? And 
there are there are many ways of doing that. Uh, one way is to get an image on your computer screen and use that as the background or take the picture against it. And another way is to create is to pull up the objects using 3D Bear, but to do it on something like a green screen. Um, I'll show you. I you know there there are fancier green screens, but um, this is just to answer the question. But I'll tell you what I've done. Um, you know, we all get these shipments from, um, you know, from Amazon. I just took uh, construction paper and put it on the inside of a box. And then if I place the items in there, I can use, I can use green screen and then just pull the items out and I could put them against any picture. So that's, um, you know, those are two different ways of using an image as a background. So let me go back and share my screen for Shalini. And sorry about that, Shalini. I got sidetracked because of the question. No uh, we have to answer the questions also. OK. And are we back showing my screen? Can you see it? Yes. OK. Uh, next slide, please. So now I, I, I will be going to share uh, what, how, and why. Why should we use this app? And uh, what is the use of this app? This is a powerful way to connect learner, young learners to reading, writing, and digital literacy to create a visual story with augmented reality. This app definitely inspires students' engagement. Kids will love adding and interacting with the characters, objects, and shapes in blank or furnished spaces. It is easy to get immersed in the process. Now how? In app video uh, tutorials, use cases and a handful of lesson plans will get you started and more uh, shared ideas for use would pull in students who need extra support and teachers who have difficulty seeing possibilities in the classroom setting. Next slide please. Why should learner use it? Learners, uh, the students learn by doing with the help of this app. Students engagement, your students will love creating, learning and showing off their talent. And it's a great tool for homework, as I mentioned earlier, when learning remotely. And design thinking, inquiry based and problem based learning is also possible in this app. So students can design independently or collaboratively, creating varied scenes and add that add excitement to the any subject. But uh, there is a limitation. There is no blank template where students can create. So they will uh, have to work around items and people that already occupy a space. But finally, it's a fantastic fit for classroom as long, long as students have clear directions and compatible devices. So why teachers should use it? Uh, next slide, please. Did I not introduce? Yes. So teachers can create their own classrooms and invite students. We will give the demo for that also, how to create your own classrooms and how you can invite your students to join that classroom. But whatever they will create there in your classroom, it will be automatically displayed on your teacher dashboard. And you can share it uh, with other educators also. So next slide, please. Now uh, let's check out some of the videos which my students have made. First video depicts the uh, tutorial. It's a tutorial video. When my students started doing using this app, the child Nilesh has had made one video how to use a 3D um, castle. So let's see. Uh, Is this the, the top left video? Yeah, first, first one. Please play this. Hey everyone, it's me, Nilesh from stage six. We have explored an app known as 3D Bear in our math class. So today, I will show you how to make a 3D augmented reality castle on 3D Bear. First, open 3D Bear. Then, click the green cube at the bottom. After that, at the bottom left corner, you can see some shapes. Click them. Then, go to the adventure section and make your own castle like this.
you have to scan the space first to table space then only you can create a scene now you have to select the pictures one by one as he is doing and how, you how old create, is he uh, oh. he is in grade 5 stage 6 grade 5 okay so he's around 10 or 11 years old right i love watching kids create you will watch many videos during this session. My kids are so excited and they they always love to use this app during their classroom assignments and they uh, always uh, feel excited uh, sharing their work with me. They always send me their videos. They have created videos on SDGs also, math class also, shapes also. So you will be witnessing all those videos during this session. So I think if we have a lot of videos, maybe what I'll do is I'll pause this one and we can go to what's this, which is the second video. Yes, 3D shapes, uh, the, this second one, yes. Good morning, everyone. My name is Sai Sanjana Patro. Today, I'm going to tell you about 3D shape, which I explored with my ma'am in my class. This is a cube and this is a square based pyramid. Cube has 6 faces 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It has 8 vertices 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And it has 12 edges 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Square based pyramid has 5 faces 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It has 5 vertices. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it has 8 edges. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Examples are Eiffel Tower, a square based pyramid. Cube, uh, dice are cube. Hi. Wow, that's so cool. She's mm -hmm. so excited to explain that. She's always excited. Uh, mm -hmm. Just play the uh, down one to the second one because uh, here you can uh, see how they have explained a uh, word problem. So is this the array one or if we teach today as we taught yesterday? The, it's, it's the one array with 3D bear? Yes, with the help of okay. 3D bear. Hello everyone. My name is Science Anjana Patro. Today is I'm going to tell you about array. In array, two things are there, rows and columns. We can play the next one in also. Array, Just I show have them the idea columns. so that the educators can get the idea and about how they can use this and platform in a different way. Equals to 12. Okay. So should I stop this and teach the show the one if we teach today as we taught yesterday? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I got an app named 3D Bear. So I am using that app for a lot of time. In this is also again a um, first, tutorial uh, video how to use, how to create, so how to, uh, to basic match the then 3D bear uh, shape and the real image. Uh, a little bit same like this. So I will click on the square base pyramid. Now I will click on the tick below. And mini. if you want to make it short you can make it small. And I want it color to be blue. So I can take it blue. And I have an option of lock here. And you swipe, you will have an option of lock. Then you can lock it so that it doesn't move. In the other hand, we have a cube. So I will take a cube here and place it here. So let's move to another slide. Next slide. This slide here, how to use 3D Bear in the classroom. So how to use 3D Bear in the classroom? You can have some ideas how to design, how you can design your activities. Like you can redesign classroom and or even your school because during remote uh, teaching and learning, uh, the students and kids are uh, missing their classroom. So I will show that picture also. And concept of geometry and 3D shapes can be taught or can be um, created in a video or in a scene. Telling a story based on a book. Uh, Reenact historical scenes. You can create number sentences. 
go to the shape hunt match 2d shapes with the uh, the uh, relational 3d shapes uh, this is the topic which on which i have created the lesson plan and build castles uh, like we have just shown you uh, next slide please so there are more examples more uh, videos which will you which uh, will give you some idea about it first is the halloween uh, we celebrated halloween and why should we celebrate it the my kid has created that video this is again a everyone i'm nilesh from state 6 today i will speak a few lines on halloween so as, as we all know that halloween is right around the corner this halloween is created, created every on year the on october 30 uh, uh, with the help of tdb it originated with the ancient celtic festival of samhain when people would light bonfires and wear costumes to ward off ghosts in the 8th century pope gregory 3 designated november 1st as a time to honor all saints in some countries people do trick or treating trick or treating is a traditional halloween custom for children and adults in some countries children in costumes travel from house to house asking for treats with the phrase trick or treat the treat is usually some form of candy although in some cultures money is given instead and trick is usually a trick performed by the person thank you and have a happy halloween wow that's pretty cool mm -hmm. the next video we will show later because it is uh, my lesson plan video and uh, you can play the video which is down to the second one or the, the first one yes first one yes sdgs yes this is sdgs video uh here she has explained Hi, about sdg my goal number 2 anjana today i'm going to tell you some lines on sdg 2 so you can see we can use this app in a, a different way for different subjects it's not necessary that you can use it in only in a particular subject in maths or in languages or in science we can relate it with all subjects as well as with our co curricular activities also have sufficient and nutritious food all year this involves promoting sustainable agricultural supporting small scale farmers and equal access to land technology and markets it means that we must give so many foods and nutritious fruits to the children of poor people thank you and have a nice day how come kids know that and yet we as adults are plundering the earth they they're so these kids are so great actually i always motivate them to learn about sdgs and to use them or uh, implement them in their own lives because you can find it's not necessary that you have to learn about sdgs we are doing since our childhood but at that time we were not aware about this this name sdg sustainable development goals like i was I, i used to give food to poor people or i used to close the tap when it turn off the tap when it is not in use all these are related to sustainable development goals only but we were not aware so i give them real life examples and i tell them to relate it with your life you can do wonders if you relate anything the learning with your life only and one of the, so, uh, just one of the things that's interesting to me is you can really you know you could use sustainable development goals the sdgs and you can use that as part of teaching really anything you could be teaching anything. math with the sdgs you could be teaching science you could be teaching social studies uh you could be teaching art so any sdgs can be rolled into any subject and it's something the kids are really interested in because they're all afraid of what the world is going to be looking like when they're adults if we teach them as a separate uh, topic or subject they will not get to uh, they will not be ready to learn actually if we embed it in our curriculum or uh, with our activities only like i introduced this app and i told them to um, use it in any topic of sdg so many students have uh, initiated and they participated in this activity so please next slide please So 
there are more examples where you can uh, connect your uh, home assignments or class assignments uh, with the help of this app. So you can design a new space, uh, new space to create a dream house or a new school or a new building, like we have just uh, seen in our videos. You can recreate an event. You can uh, create any video on about me, or you can explain any idea or concept. Like my students have uh, shared uh, number stories. Also, they have created a video on number story. How to solve? First, they created a scene. Uh, taking any number story and then they solved it um, during this video recording only and you can uh, create a tutorial as you seen uh, you all have seen nilesh video and you can do virtual exhibition as well so, so when you say time, well, so when you say design a new space just one really great example that i know of is there was a a middle school so it's um kids who are 11 or 12 and as kids are bound to do, they complained about the way the school library was. And so the teacher said to them, well, okay, if you think you can do a better job, why don't you redesign the school library? And she gave them two class periods mm -hmm. to come up with their own designs. At the end of the two class periods, she used, uh, she had the classes go through the design changes that the that all the kids had done and then they put together a video and they showed it to the principal and the principal actually bought a bunch of the furniture that the kids had recommended and so you know the kids will the kids are now in high school but they come back to the middle school and they say you see that chair i'm the one who designed that who put he said we needed chairs like that this was our design they're they're so proud of themselves it was it, it was um it was so cool so i'll go on to the next slide True. yes so these are some uh, scenes which we have created during our classroom period. First scene, can you click on first scene, uh, Mr. Witch? Can you click? Yes, uh, the first one. Pre presentation, uh, you can click, it will be okay. highlighted. Yes. Okay. This is the scene. Uh, we invited some players to our uh, classroom and we just had fun with them. So uh, in this way, we can, um, uh, may, we can motivate our students to create any scene. So next, next scene, please. Our kids were missing their classroom. So they created their classroom. Uh, this is the picture of their classroom. And next slide. Okay, I'll just say one of the things that, that one teacher did is she had the students design a special study place within their houses. So in augmented reality, they designed a study place exactly the way they wanted to see it. Right. So next, next is uh, this is array uh, you can like my uh, one of my girl has uh, created one video on array also so next next scene is of playground we created a scene of playground for pre-primary students or any just we had fun in the class we did yeah, i think i think every playground class. needs a, needs a gorilla <laughs> yeah. right yeah so next next scene is uh, related to uh, next scene please this is the castle with the help of 3D shapes. And the next one is, this is this was uh, when I introduced them the shapes, they created this scene. And this is the um, picture or scene of 3D shapes. They uh, spoke about all the uh, 3D shapes. They created the scene and they were supposed to speak uh, two, two or three, three lines or properties of each shape. So in this way, we created uh, activities uh, based on um, mathematics. So next slide, please. There are more uh, scenes. So this one is, uh, yes, this one is ratio. And again, they have created one uh, video, uh, how to use this question. So the girl has solved all the questions. Uh, I, she she solved the question like how to find A, B, C. Uh, and uh, this was the recording, recorded video. And uh, next scene, please. This, I love that. This is really cool. Great visual way of teaching ratios in math. Thank you so much. This is the scene of uh, Christmas. And uh, like we can relate uh, our teaching with all the uh, subjects, all the festivals, all the important days, special days. It's not like if I am a math teacher, I, I am supposed to teach only math. I can make them comfortable. I can make them uh, enthusiastic while uh, introducing other things also during our classroom. 
Uh, well, and there's a lot of scenes you can, like even Christmas, you know, if my parents give my brother five toys and I steal three of them, how many does he have left, right? So next is the emotions, all the emotions they have shown here. And you missed second one, Mitch. This is the emo uh, these are the emotions, the different yes. emotions they have shown. The second one is the word problem. You have missed that. Uh, oh, picture. I am so sorry. Yes. No, no, not no, no problem at all. So here, uh, she, the boy created one word problem, and then they have given the solution also. So in this way, we can do any kind of activity with the help of this app. So uh, please. Change the slide. So hope you all have got some ideas how to use this app in a different way. So uh, this is uh, the next slide where every child has special need. Uh, it's not just about languages or maths. It's about growing as a human being. So 3D Bear app um, helps in inculcating 21st century skills among kids to prepare them for life. There is a student-centered learning and teaching, which enhances creativity. This is part of 3D, uh, 21st century skills in the classroom. Critical thinking, how can you um, um, motivate them in this way? They can create real life scenarios in AR. And it, it, this uh, app promotes self sharing thoughts, ideas, creations by using AR. And they can also collaborate. They can work in team to recreate historical scenes or other scenes like my students have already done. Next slide, please. Now I will show you how to create your classroom and how to invite your students. Other Sometimes what, uh, what, what is my experience when I invited my students to use this, I introduced this app to my students. One or two of, stu uh, of my students were not able to log in. Uh, I think the uh, due to the old version of their device, but when I created my classroom, it was very simple for them. Just They just entered the code and they were the member of my classroom. So they were able to enter easily. So, so, I think, so as an example, what, what you did is you created a classroom called 5A and then in yeah. 3D Bear, that class gets a class ID and then they can log in with a nickname to that class. Nickname. And they don't and need here we, I, I would like to mention one thing. When uh, you have to be very careful while creating the classroom and while giving the nickname. As I am a student, if I am, my teacher is giving my name as Shalini and I am uh, trying to log in with the name of Shalini Chohan, so I won't be able, able to log in because I have to enter the same name which my teacher has given me during creating my classroom. So this is the, um, uh, we will take you to uh, this live demo to the app. So you should have some hands-on experience there. So please, Mitch, I would request you again. Okay, to come back to the app. Yes. So okay. meanwhile, I will just share with all of you how to create your classroom. You just have to click on team icon, which is given uh, at the bottom of your screen. Then you have to click on arrow. Then there will be a um, tab which where uh, create new class. You have to click on create new class. Then you have to enter name of the class like 3A or geometry, uh, geography class or math class. Then you have to enter nickname and add students. So um, after that, you have to share the class ID. Class ID will be generated and you have to share the class ID with the students. Now, how student will log in? Student will just log in. Uh, first, they will log in for subscription. Then uh, they will click on student login. There are two options: student login or teacher login. They will create. They will click on student login. Then they will enter class ID. Then after that, they will enter nickname, which was assigned by their teacher. And uh, they are able to log in with the help of these steps. And uh, once they will start. Uh, doing it, they have to again scan the room and then start designing as Mitch has uh, showed us uh, in the starting of the session. So here is a, a team icon. You can see you have to click first. Uh, Mitch, can we create one classroom for them? Um, so I think on my device, I already have the, well, 
So if I go to here, it says on the bottom, you see it says create new class. So I'm going to create a new class and I have to give the class a name. Um, I'm going to call it Shalini. You can even create. give name uh, Shalini 1, Shalini 2, Shalini 3. Like uh, you can, okay. it's your choice how to give a nickname to your students. You can take their first name as well. You can uh, take their last name. It's your choice. Right. So now I've created a class called Shalini, and now I have to create um, subscriptions for each of the students in that class. So you will enter um, nickname. So I could, um, so I could have the first student, let's say, as Shalini one, if I want to. And then I could have the second student as Shalini two. Okay. And so when the, when the students log in, um, and if you, do you want me to log out and log in as a student? Uh, if it is possible, then it would be really appreciable. Okay. Um, let me just write down this. Uh, you can edit their nickname uh, anytime. Right. So I'm going to now, um, I'm going to log out. Okay. And now I'm going to log in. Uh, I'm going to go home, uh, I'm going to log in, okay? So I'm going to log in and you see at the bottom of the screen, it says student login. I'm going to mm -hmm. do the student login here. I know that my class ID was BC0HCY, um, I'm now I can't see what I wrote, whether I wrote 66. I'm just think it was CY66. And then my students were, one for student was Shalini one. And if I log in, and of course I did that wrong, but if I had typed it incorrectly, then I would be logged in here. And anything that I did- You must have noted down the wrong password, code, class code. I put the class code in wrong? Do you remember what the class code was? Well, so um, I'm going to um, actually, uh, since I wrote it wrong, um, I'm not going to go back and, and try to do it again. I'm going to log back in as, as myself. But not a problem. I, I think they have they must have got the idea how to go about it. When you share the code with your students, they have to log in uh, in these steps. Okay, so I'm just, yes. so if I, when I log in as a student, then everything I do, I have the option of sending directly to the teacher. So then the teacher on the teacher dashboard, and I'll go into. Uh, so as a teacher, as an educator, you can see everything on your dashboard, whatever child is creating. If child is login, uh, if child uh, does uh, this login with the uh, app only, he's or she is not using your class code, then in that case, the child need, needs to share every work with you. Otherwise, you won't be able to see. But if, it is, if he or she is entering to your classroom and creating some scene or video, then automatically it will be shown on your dashboard. Okay. So if I now go to back to my the classroom that I use, here are all the different things that my students have done. I have this green classroom and I can see here's some of the things that green 09 did. Here's some of the things and I can share them um, with the student. You can, I can publish do it, them as well. Right. Yeah. I can publish them. I can show them on my phone or I can also use my computer and show them on a whiteboard if I have a, if I have a whiteboard. Right. Okay, so I'll, I'll come out of the app and I'll go back into your presentation. Is that okay to go back into yeah, the presentation? Thank you, thank, thank you so okay. much. Um, let me stop share and let me go back into the presentation. Here we go.
So okay. at the end, I will be showing you my lesson plan also, from which you can get an idea how to create a lesson plan, how to go about and about that. So uh, next is, th these are the steps which the child needs to follow. If they have to download the app first, they, then they have to enter the classroom code, then scan the room, and then they can start designing. They can start creating a scene or creating a video. So it also work um, on a tablet or smartphone. And so I'll say now, that, that everybody here, you got here because you got an email from me. If you want to email me, I'll use that email address and I'll set you up with a 60 day subscription for yourself and 30 students. So just email me with the email address that you got the invitation here. So next slide, please. Um, we have already or, done this. Yes, okay. So the lesson, so if you use your smartphone and go to this QR code, or on your computer, you type in that code, um, you'll go to the lesson. And then I have the lesson, I'll leave this up for another second. But I have the lesson right here. There. And here's the lesson. And uh, uh, Mitch, there is a link of the video, uh, which was created by my student uh, for this lesson plan. So can you click on that link? Um, yeah, yes, in this, this, are, yes. this link right here, right? Yes. Hello everyone, I'm Nilesh from stage 6. Today, I have found some 3D shapes and I will compare them with virtual 3D shapes using 3D bear. So let's start. So, as you can see that I have compared a tree trunk with a cylinder. Some properties of a cylinder include 1. A cylinder contains two parallel bases connected by a curved surface. 2. It has three faces. 3. The bases are circular in shape. I have also compared a football with a sphere. Some properties of a sphere include 1. It has no edges or vertices. 2. It has one surface, not a face, as it isn't flat. 3. It is not a polyhedron. In this image, I have compared a ball with a half sphere. And last but not least, I have compared a box with a cube. Some properties of a cube include 1. It has 6 faces. 2. A cube has 12 edges. 3. The shape has 8 vertices. Thank you and have a nice day. Wow. So I would say that student really understands 3D shapes. And so this lesson which describes how to do that with your students is either from this QR code here or from this URL on the bottom. That's really cool. Thank I guess you. I'm using that, that word a lot really cool, right? But they, these are, these are fantastic. I love what your kids are doing. I hope uh, all of you have enjoyed the session and uh, I could add some thoughts to uh, some values to your thoughts actually. And at last, I would like to thank uh, Mr. Witch. And I must say the support and customer service at 3D Bear is also friendly. And they are willing to help you uh, anytime. You just need to uh, mail them, send a mail, that's it. And yeah. uh, Rich, I would like to request you to uh, uh, space some links, uh, of teacher dashboard and ambassador how can they be ambassador of 3d bear so would you mind sure let me just go to um so friends start your remote teaching with augmented reality and discover inspiring learning content thank you so much for spending your time and um, okay. joining me for this session so here's here's the link for the ambassador and um Let's see. So you have to log in to get to the student to get to the teacher dashboard. So that would be more difficult because I, I can log in, but you can't really access it until you have a login. But if anybody here wants, um, again, you've got my email address. Uh, just email me and I'll set you up with a free 60 day subscription.
Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Mitch. Oh, for Shalee, all your support yeah. and help during the session. Thank, thank you so much. I'm sorry you. you could, you know, I'm, I'm sorry if I messed up with the demonstration at all, um, because your slides were fantastic and so were your examples. And I, you know, I'm just in awe. Thank you so much, and thank you thank everybody you. for spending a Saturday with us. Um, have the, have a great rest of the weekend. For those of you who are watching the archives, I hope you really enjoy this, and um, hope to see you at another event. So, bye everyone. Bye.